And if you're feeling down and out, we got something we need to talk about. I'll be there to help you when you feel you can't go on. It was first based over in Algiers. One of the co-founders is a man named Malik Rahim, and he put out a call for help, to get help down here, to get food, water supplies to people that had no other way to get it. Since then, it's really greatly expanded. Um, we have our main community center over on Pauline and Claiborne in the Upper Ninth Ward, where close to 250 volunteers are housed and fed. We run a huge distribution center there. We also have distribution and help centers up in Homa, Plaquemine Parish, St. Bernard's Parish, and here in the We're Lower Ninth Ward. A small-scale distribution center, <laughs> but also hookups to all the other things that we do. We help people clear trees out from their lawns, from things that have fallen on homes, blocking driveways, sheds. We help people get their homes gutted out, and this is all free of charge done with volunteers and with mold abatement in homes as well. There are free clinics in Algiers and then on Claiborne. And I think there's also a traveling clinic that tries to go to day labor camps. We also offer free legal services on Saturdays. There's a, a work, a legal clinic type thing over on the Claiborne side. And that's from 12 to 3. So, and this is the Blue House, as we've been calling it. It's where we opened up in the Lower Ninth Ward. A woman named Dolores Cage let us open up here. She it has a lease on the house with uh, Brandon Darby and our website, <laughs> commongroundrelief.org, will give you a lot of information as well. What we really are trying to do is get people to come back to their homes if they want to come back. And the best way people can do that is volunteer, get down here and help us clean out a home for someone. Bleach, water, um, if you've got that down around here and in bulk. Hygiene supplies, always in big need. Work gloves, rubber gloves, latex gloves, um, respirator masks, definitely, and Tyvek suits. We're always low on Tyvek suits, always. Mostly it's safety gear, get people safe while they're down here. Houses, the corners of the rafters are where you really have to watch out. Mm -hmm. And also you have to be, care be careful of just surfaces that mold really likes, um, like drywall. It had to be made to to grow mold on it. You can wick it right up to the surface if there's water on the bottom, and that's enough to feed mold. Yeah. I'll be there to help you. When you feel you can't go on Blankets, okay. pillows, 